and it's the men's 3,000 metres. So it's seven and a half laps of the track. So we're picking out Alexander Viacek. 8.15.79 to his name, the pole. And Baptiste Guyon, the very good Frenchman. Part of a successful French cross-country team that contested the European Cross-Country Championships in the Dutch city of Tilburg in December. Max Hayden, the Briton. Well, some of the top runners in Europe over 3,000 metres choosing to do other events like Cezronek, the pole, who's in the 1,500 metres, and Van der Velt, who's the favourite for the 3,000 metre steeplechase. So this is 3,000 metres without the barriers. <coughs> well, it's a straight final with 15 men, and I think they all deserve... An acknowledgement, so we have Amar Tan of Turkey, who also ran in the 1500 metres. Skremel of Germany, Amaral of Portugal, Krevetkovsky of Ukraine, Hayden of Great Britain, Malasevic of Serbia, West of Great Britain, Kavagna, Italy, Guillaume France, Kokali of Austria, another 1500 metre man, Shea McAvoy of Ireland, Mayo of Spain, Van Bandert of Netherlands, Wiercek of Poland, and Bentz of the Netherlands. So that's all 15 men. It's taken me about 40 seconds to read out all of them. And it looks as though it's Guyon who's gone straight to the front. The 18-year-old Frenchman taking the lead at this stage. So time to have a look at Diakite's final effort in the javelin. Looking frustrated, the German. Fifty-seven meter thrower at best. So some way off that as he looks to climb up the standings. The second group of men to come a little later on. So the first sight of Yaroslav Amocic. Well, she chose to come in at 175, clear over that. I'm very clear. Bags of daylight for her at 1 meter 80. She's coming in a little bit lower than she would do on the international circuit. And even though she's 17 years of age, she still gets a place in the IWF Diamond League meetings. So, back to the 3,000 metres. I've just gone a little more than 800 metres. So, when they come round... I'll see the lap counter change to five to go, and when they cross the line, that'll be one kilometre. Everybody's still involved. Gion, Hayden, Amaktan. Up at the front, Mayo, the good Spaniard. Strung out over about 15 metres. 2.50.39, so 8.30 pace at the moment. Not super quick, but pretty respectable. Not one of the more pedestrian efforts that we've seen at these championships of course those heats that we saw on the first night were frankly pretty lamentable in terms of some of the pacing and some of the athletes who contested those I don't think they can be forgiven for not having the courage to take it out a bit quicker but this is a pretty decent pace and it's a Mactan the Turk in front at the moment Uh, it does look as though, having gone through 
the one kilometre point in 250. And Macton, having got to the front, has actually slowed things down a little bit. Schremmel, the German, also up there. Looking very good at the moment. So it's a Mac turn still leading the way. As we look at Neo Neugebauer, his third attempt. Uh, just short of 44 metres. 44.91 in the second round. That new lifetime best of his. Worth 514 points. With Ehama still to come. So no improvement there. Ehama's lifetime best, 53.53. Well, a Maktan up in front once again. So we go through with three laps to go. Hayden running well at this stage, looking very calm and collected in second place. Hayden never moving to the front, but doing very well indeed, just tracking every move. Hayden's improved to 8.14.97 this year, which he did at a... A recent meeting on the south coast of England in Brighton. Scramble, the German, looking as though he's working a little bit harder to stay in third. Then the tall Portuguese runner, Amaral, in fourth at the moment. Sorry. I don't think that's Amaral, in fact. I think it's Malesevic of Serbia. So, two, two laps to go, 800 metres, they went through two kilometres in 5.36.96. So, a pretty good speeding up on that second kilometre. Faster than the first by about four seconds. So, Amagtan now pushing hard, Schremel coming through on the outside, and the tall loping figure of the Serbian Malesevic in third, fourth at the moment, and those four starting to get away from the rest. Krakowiecki leading the chasing pack. It's about 20 metres between the leading quartet and Krakowiecki with 500 metres to go. So it's a Maktan, Scremel. Hayden and Malesevic. So they hear the bell now. And for the first time in this race, Scramble has got to the front. The German starting to crank it up. Well, Scramble, two years ago, made the final of the world under 18, 1500 metres. So it's. Likely that he's got a kick. The ungainly loping action of Milosevic takes him to the front, but he does cover a lot of ground. Scramble now getting through on the inside. 200 to go. Amaktan really fighting to stay with them. Hayden now starting to look tired and go off the back. So Scramble, the German, heading for home. Now this would be a bit of a surprise. Scramble now pushing hard, sprinting hard, his arms pumping, Milosevic digging deep, but I think Milosevic has now tossed in the towel as Scramble comes home. Milosevic of Serbia takes the silver and a Maktan of Turkey, the bronze. 8.16.07, a personal best by a very big margin for Elias Scramble.
Personal best right the way down. Milosevic gets the silver in 8 16 68. Amaktan 8 17 51. Krakowetsky comes through for fourth, overtaking the flagging Hayden. But it's Elias Scremel who is the European champion. Just look at the emotion on his face, almost in disbelief, in shock as he crosses the line, as if to say, how? That was the achievement of his dream. Well, that's the first German gold medal of these championships. I have to say, we know what a powerhouse the German team is. There's going to be many more, but it's always nice to get the first one. And Elias Scrammell does exactly that. Pumping away while he's finishing speed, honed as a predominantly 1,500-meter runner. Really comes to the fore there. Not sure he can believe it either, but he did everything tactically right. And deserves all the credit for taking the gold medal. Amak Tan took more than four seconds off his best. So there's confirmation of the results. Five personal bests in the top six, with the 15 men in this race led home by Elias Scrammel, 8.16.07, to take the gold. Serbia and Turkey, silver and bronze. Baptiste 